The solar gravity lens is just a way that we can look at exoplanets, planets that are really far away beyond our solar system, and we can't use large enough telescopes to see them from Earth. So what we can do is we can send a fleet of a bunch of, of small satellites out to 550 astronomical units away, so we'd have to pass the Voyagers on the way out, and turn around, take a look at our own sun, and our sun acts as a lens where it can actually lens the light from some sort of a system, solar system, even planets that are well beyond that. So it gives us a way of using our sun as a big telescope. We can determine from a almost a kilometer resolution of what exactly is happening on these planets. So if they've built something, we can see in these pictures of like the structures, the ecosystems that they've built, as well as the natural geography of the planets to really determine if there is life on these planets. We always want to know what's out there. And this could be that, that tool that we use to get that information. Looking for initial conditions that would be appropriate given our trajectory was kind of a challenge. So building tools to allow us to propagate trajectories forward that take into account solar sails was something that we had to overcome. This is going to go out to 550 to up to 1,000 AU and take images the fact that we're going to be funding this project for at least 20 to 40 years. Something like that is like brand new and I think that's something to be really excited about. And that comes with like the territory of like the new space age we're in.